Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see Java interfaces. Look at this definition. It starts with interface, then there is a name, my methods. Interfaces are nothing but signatures for methods. Why do we need this? Suppose we want to have some classes to implement these two methods. They must have method m1 and m2 with these parameters. I want to force that any class that I want I, I specify they need to use this. In that case first define the interface. If you note here in the interface we have given only the signature of the method. Signature means only the declaration part only declare no body it has no body you don't write statements inside it you don't write if conditions you don't define the body of this method you just define or declare the signature of the method then wherever you want to use those methods you use this word implements Extends means subclass. Implements means it is going to have these two methods by default in this class. Right now, I have defined only the main method, but I have not declared these two methods. So, in essence, first you have to define an interface. That interface must have only the declaration part of the methods with no body. Wherever you want to have those methods to be used in those classes, use the implements that interface. Now let us do this. I go ahead and then compile this. When I do this, it says Java 15 is not abstract and does not override abstract method M2. This means I have defined these two methods, but I have not included the method body over here. So by definition, wherever you are implementing interfaces, these two are automatically defined internally, but you have to define the method body. So now I define the method body. Okay. So inside this class, this is called overriding the method of the interface. Now I am giving this particular method m1 which is using the same signature as this but I'm giving a body to that same way I define m2 inside the class I define the body over here okay now let me try to call uh, m1 within bracket 1 comma 1 I call this then m2 within bracket I say 10 point uh, 10.0 comma hello I start calling these methods let us see what happens it says it non static method m1 cannot be reference static context let us see what is the error it says have a look at this error message it says non static method m1 cannot be referenced in static context now look here in this one this method main is a static method okay and when it is in the static mode it is loaded into the memory once but these are not static methods you have not declared them as public static so from a static point you cannot call a non-static method so what I do is for a moment just for the compilation sake I comment these two lines of calling let us see first it compiles now it gets compiled. Not a problem. That means it is accepting the body definition for the method signatures that you have given over here. So the first point you need to note in interfaces is you declare the interface signatures then start using implements. Wherever you are implementing those things in classes in those places you must provide a body to that. Now in this case I just change the parameter to float okay I define this here as integer now I define here as float 
let me try to compile this now it says java 15 is not abstract and it says int int is not properly defined over here I defined int and int over here but I defined int and float that means if you have a distributed programming team and if you want to enforce standards and you want to make sure that all the people use the same kind of parameters and parameter types if you make them to implement interfaces you can enforce that kind of a discipline so if some developer changes the order of parameters or changes the data types of parameters then it will not even compile so you are stopping the problem right here same way now let me do one more thing now look here I have defined one interface my methods two methods in that m1 and m2 now I have got one more interface your methods in that I have got one more method in the main class I am saying implements these two interfaces so in this class you should have this method this method and this method let me go ahead and then compile this see what happens so it says m3 in your methods is not implemented it is not overridden over here so in the class which implements both I have got m1 I have got m2 but I don't have m3 so what I do is I just change uh, add that m3 also let us do that m3 I'm using one parameter uh, string s1 then I print this now I have impl I have overridden m3 also inside this class which is implementing two interfaces now let me compile this now it compiles fine so you can have many interfaces being implemented by a class but the important point is if you have X number of methods here and Y number of methods here and if you are implementing both the interfaces you should have all the methods X and Y overridden over here that means you are providing a signature here in the interface you are providing a body of that particular interface method inside your class so this is used to enforce standards enforce standards skeleton and consistency so different programmers when they start using they have to necessarily use the standards that you provide they need to use the exact skeleton that you use you have given they have to be consistent in their programming so interfaces is one way of enforcing discipline of the method definitions and usage across the classes. We will end the session over here. Thank you.